Hi everyone, let me quickly introduce the concept of data-driven testing. To do that, let me switch to Studio Pro, our essential designer component of the UiPath test suite, our most advanced IDE for automation here at UiPath. Now let me say some words about this project first, the so-called UiPath banking app, or in short, the UiBank. And the UiBank is a real set of applications we created here internally at UiPath for yeah, the sake of our demonstrations. So the UI bank provides a RESTful API, a desktop application.net, a mainframe system, a mobile application, and it also provides a web application. So if I expand this node here, you can see I already created some automated test cases for the web application of the UI bank. Now let's have a look at one of these test cases here. Let's take this one called standard loan. And what this test case does is fairly simple. It just creates a standard loan quote in our web application. So now let's see what this even means and let's execute this test case. So to do that, just click on run file. What then happens, Studio minimizes, the robot launches, as you can see in the taskbar. Then we launch our web application, the so-called UI bank. And here we click on loans, we click on apply for a loan, then we enter an email address, a loan amount, a loan term, a yearly income, and an age. We click on submit, and on that page, was simply too fast for me, we verify the loan rate that was given back by the application. Now, in the output of this test case, here on the right-hand side, we can see that the verification passed because the loan rate that was given back by the application was exactly the one we expected. Now, in that way, you can then create other automated test cases to, for example, create a quote for a high volume loan or a quote for a long term loan or a quote for a mid term loan or a loan quote for a very old person or a loan quote for a very young person. Now, all these test cases are basically redundant from an automation perspective. What makes these test cases different is the fact that they process different data through our web application. Now, what we want to avoid is redundancy in our automation. And for that simple reason, we introduce the concept of so-called data-driven test cases here in Studio Pro. So how do you create such a data-driven test case? Well, all you need to do, select a folder, for example, make a right click, select add, and here you go, you can create a data-driven test case. When you do it, just give it a name, click on create, and then you can attach a data source to this test case to make it a data-driven test case. So here you have two options. You can either select a data source that's already part of your project, or you can attach any Excel file that is not part of your project. Now, that is exactly what I already did for this automated test case here, data-driven loan. So now let me show you how the data source looks like that is being attached to this data-driven test case. And that is exactly this Excel file here called loan quotes. Now let me open it to see how such a data source looks like. Now, as you can see here, each row in this data file represents a data variation. And each of these data variation comes with a different loan amount, a loan term, a loan income, a loan age, and here we also specify whether the loan is being granted according to the business logic in our application. And if the loan is granted, we also specify the expected loan rate. So this is the data source or the data file that is being attached to this automated test case here called data-driven loan. Now, when we now execute this automated test case, with the run file option, we see that we have an additional option. It's called run file with data variations. Now, when you click on it, you will see this window here called data variations. And if you expand it a little bit, you will see that these are all the data variations we've just seen in the attached data source. And then you can decide, well, I want to now process through all these data variations in my next execution, or I just want to process some of them through my application or just one of them. Now, to keep this demonstration as short and as simple as possible, let me just select this set of data here, where I expect a loan rate of 10%. Now, let's run now this automated test case with that specific set of data. 
And now the same happens as you've seen before. The robot launches, we launch our UI bank web application, we click on loans, we apply for a loan, and now we enter the data we've specified in our data source. And that's basically it. We submit, we verify the loan rate, and in the output again, you can see the verification passed. In that case, the application gave back a loan rate of 10%, and that is exactly the one we expected. Now that's the short story of data-driven testing here in Studio Pro.